Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome to my Saturday night stream. Um, happy Saturday, happy weekend. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you for the follow, Rural2992. Rural um, and welcome to my Animal Crossing New Horizons stream. Um, we had a pretty exciting start to the weekend yesterday with Madame Mom being a guest star on my Mario Party, Friday Night Mario Party series on my Mario Party 6 stream. So that was a lot of fun. Um, it's bittersweet because, you know, for as fun as that is and like something, that's something that I've wanted to, to do since before quarantine and everything happened and I couldn't see my family for months. Um, you know, it's, I'm glad that that was kind of a pick me up yesterday, but my beau is not going to be making a cameo appearance um, in the background tonight, which is very sad for me. This is like my first stream back where it's literally just me um, since Odie and I were together. So I want to again say thank you to all of you for being so welcoming and so kind to Odie as he guest starred and kind of just uh, was here for my streams. And also if you frequent his streams, thank you for putting up with my craziness. Um, throughout his streams and special thank you to him for being here um, so Kayla the turtle girl 2006 Amy Morgan check in Jeremy is the boss 12 Stardev 94 and water pixels welcome to the stream thank you guys for being here tonight thank you to all of you who are lurking as well or who are just uh, watching on your own time a oh, big breeze in the house shout out to Bree um, I don't have a ton of plans for this game tonight um, and what I thought about doing this weekend but then I was like you know I kind of do want to get back into the groove of um, just doing this I mean this is like my normal schedule what I was going to do anyway is I was going to move tonight's stream to Sunday but then I thought well wait a minute we actually have a villager moving out today so that way tomorrow we can villager hunt and experience the fireworks show on Sunday. Um, so this is kind of like getting back into the groove and then we're gonna have like a bonus stream tomorrow night. It's gonna be much shorter tomorrow night. It's probably gonna only be like an hour um, because I'm only planning on showing off the fireworks stuff, doing villager hunting until we find someone or we run out of tickets and then calling it a night. Um, so that's gonna be tomorrow night, probably at the same time, probably at 8 p.m. Eastern, so same as tonight. Um, and like I said originally, I was just gonna move this stream to Sunday because the fireworks show really isn't enough to have like a full two-hour stream or something, two to three hour stream of, but since we're villager hunting too, um, it was a little more plausible to have like a little bonus uh, stream on Sunday and then we can still do all of our Saturday activities with KK and stuff. So anyway, it works out, but Madam Mom is in the house. Uh, the dancing snail, Mr. Wario. Welcome you guys. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, that that's not on the schedule or anything. I guess I could put I probably need to put that down below after the stream. Um, but that's just gonna be like a little pop-up bonus tomorrow, um, so that we can at least see the fireworks once in August and then um get going from there. So that's the plan. So anyway, <laughs> you, yeah, you love a good bonus stream, basically. Um so anyway we are going to be just kind of hanging out tonight it's gonna be a very like chill relaxing time uh, we'll probably check out maybe the dream suite again do another like drawing and I think I'm gonna do it differently this time where I'm gonna have somebody give me whatever uh, dream suite code they would like it doesn't necessarily have to be of your own town or anything but it can be of a dream address that maybe you found that you were really inspired by or something um, and we can visit it and then I also want to do kind of like my dailies, do KK, have a camper. Um, I think one of the first things I'm going to do is change the town tune, just because I haven't uh, done that in a while. And so yeah, so we have some things to catch up on. Dailies take forever anyway, so it'll work out. But um, other than that, I have... I don't really have anything else to announce um, other than just beginning of the month announcements for Patreon, so I want to go ahead and pull up my Patreon credits for the month of August. Welcome to the Patreon family, to these folks who went the extra mile this month 
to pledge to my Patreon page. So Captain Hastings, Freelancer645, Go for Alex, Mario Gamerable, Matina, Mr. Wario, Odin Spec, Panda Plays 64, Scottman895, Serena Mary, Shy Guy for Days, Snarker Yoshi, Psycho Nacho Man, The Twy King, and Waluigi Girl. Thank you for your extra support. Love you all. So, if you're interested in checking out my Patreon family, um, or joining my Patreon family, I should say, um, all you have to do is visit the link in the chat or under the under the stream or in the video description if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube. Other than that, the only other announcement is I had a donation goal last night that was met in one night, so thank you so much. Um, I'm kind of getting to the point where I want to add a little bit of variety possibly to some of my, not the Mario Party stuff, but some of the um, other days in the week I would like to do like pop-ups or like variety streams or even like on Saturday night we could do like some Animal Crossing and some something else. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to do uh, Fall Guys streams, and that's been a fun game that I showed off last weekend when it was still in beta testing. Well, it's since come out. Um, we raised the funds for it yesterday. That was super exciting. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys for helping me raise the funds for not only that, but a controller for my PC. Because the controllers I have that I can plug into my PC don't are not friendly with this game and don't work. Like, I have a PS4 controller. It plugs in, but it glitches out. I don't know why, and I had this problem before. I remember trying to play a different game with it years ago, and I thought it was my computer, and turns out it's not. It's the controller. And none of my other controllers have, like, the ability to plug in, so I ended up just getting a controller for my PC. That's already been ordered. I'm supposed to get that next week. Um, but anyway, so that was something I was like, okay, I guess I need to just to have my PC have its own thing. So... Um, but yeah, well, Pixie's in the house. How's it going? Plus, Fall Guys, we can play together. I'm kind of trying to play, um, stuff more together with you guys. Um, but the next game that I have a donation goal for, which is the game you're seeing up here, is Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. I don't know that that's so much a play together game, but the styling is very similar to Animal Crossing, so I thought it'd be fun to start something like that, because I've never played, like, a Harvest Moon game or a... A game like that and Odie was playing one earlier that was like the most adorable thing ever and I'm like oh my god why am I not I have so many people ask me if I've ever played Harvest Moon and I never have um, but I think that could be another fun game I'm trying to kind of build my library to have um, some newer games in it too that are like cute and fun so I'm like well that'd be a good one so anyway so that's what I'm looking into I just have a set donation goal for that now, so if you're curious, that's what that is. And that's kind of something else I would want to add in to, like, this um, kind of simulation block. If we turn this more into, like, simulation community stuff, I think that would be a lot of fun. So, and, and you guys can give me your feedback and let me know your thoughts on that. If you're like, what? You're supposed to only do Animal Crossing. Okay, but, like, you know, that's kind of my, my thought process with that. And if you like this music, you guys, I should also um, shout out that this is my own video that we're listening to. This is my top 10 Animal Crossing songs of all time. And this, I posted this before New Horizons came out, but it's still the same. It didn't change. I was thinking that maybe there'd be a song in New Horizons that I would like more than one of these, but there isn't. So I'm like, okay, this is the best one. Obviously we haven't heard like all of the holiday stuff, so may there is still a possibility I would like a holiday remixes or something better, but who knows? I don't know. Uh, the Twitch Spy, welcome. Gonna be lurking? Well, thanks for being here. So yeah, you'll love a new game. So anyway, so I'm kind of like right now, I had subscriber goals all for the past like two or three months. Was it two months? Let's see, June, July. For the past two months, I had, um, subscriber goals and then that changed to being um now we're we're getting back into like you know just trying to work on my library for streaming basically um so again i just wanted to put that out there because i always like to explain my donation goals again donations are never expected um but they're, i'm always grateful for them so i appreciate you all and thank you for donating your time to hang out with me tonight all right let's get to the game Let's get to Big Isabel. Um, 
and I'm going to unmute this. So yeah, tomorrow Lost Pimp bids farewell to Marina. I know, so sad. Sorry guys, but she just didn't make a big enough impact on us. And sorry, this is like not centered and that's going to really annoy me if I don't center it immediately. So there we go. Okay. Anyway, so thank you, Pixie, for changing the game, girl. Um, so yeah, Marina is leaving. <laughs> we haven't gotten her photo, but she like ran up to me and she's like, I want to go. And I was like, I literally never see her anywhere. Like, she's never around. So I was like, fine, we haven't connected. Get the F out. Like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. So, um, you know, I had to, I had to just say whatever. So the club owner is changing yet again. She couldn't handle the pressure. It was too much. That's too bad. So tomorrow night, we're going to be um, hunting for villagers. And I kind of fall to the same habit where, like, I'll get, like, 20 tickets, 20 tickets to go and, like, look for villagers. And if I don't find anybody within 20 tickets, I'm kind of just like... Okay, I guess we'll let it be random. And we had really good luck last time because we got Lionel. So Lionel um, is our newest villager. He actually moved in from uh, one of my viewer's towns, from my viewer Quincy Crossing, his town. So that was kind of fun. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the first viewer town we have. I know the club position is cursed. So, uh, I don't know. Everybody leaves. It's kind of annoying, but kind of funny at the same time. Yeah, I can't wait for club... Hornsby. So dumb. Um, but yeah. So anyway, you had so much luck with your last three vacancies. I don't think we've gotten anybody. I, at least not even through random. I have not gotten anybody that I was truly like, oh my God, no, why? The closest thing would be getting Curlos again because I was like, I don't want Curlos again. I, I wanted somebody new. It wasn't because like, oh my God, he's such a horrible character or anything. It was just, I, I wanted somebody new. Oh my God, there's a melon dress in here. I don't have this. I do have this bow and that would be super cute. I think I even have a melon hat, so. All right, well, let's go ahead and buy that first of all. Oh, we're not going to wear it now because I'm going to have to go home and change my accessories anyway. And the reason I'm stopping here first is because uh, this shop closes first, so I always just try and get this out of the way. I want to get one of these tank tops too, and I am a pink person. I've been trying to get all the yellow summer stuff, but I like this top better in pink, so cool. Anyway. Um... I know. It's like, if we run into Hornsby again, I am just... I don't know what to do. I really don't. Uh, Mari and Nintendo fan, welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually change the town tune so that we can hear something other than Yoshi's Tropical Island because it's very, um... There aren't very many notes in that song. When you actually type it out, there are not very many notes. It's da 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 Like, there are like three notes in the beginning of that song. They're just repeated. Um, so let's change the island tune. And usually I roll for this, but lately I haven't... No one's really had any ideas when I roll. Um, I use like Nightbot and I'm like, pick the song! And then people are like, I don't want to pick it. So I'm like, okay. I'm just gonna pick it. Um, that being said, if anybody does have an idea that they want to throw out there, sure. I'm just gonna leave it like first come, first serve. Like, oh, this person said it first and whatever. If it's anything really weird though, like I probably won't do it. I do pretty simple at this point so it doesn't turn into poop butt stink, you know. Mario Galaxy? Oh girl, I don't think we've even done a song from Mario Galaxy yet, have we? Um. We could do Space Junk, because that's my favorite. And I did a dance to it for St. Jude. Some of you were there for that, for my um, dance stream for St. Jude Play Live. So that was super fun. Um, I 
I'm trying to find the first note. I'm like, uh. But yeah. I made my town too. You'll never see it coming from Persona 5. I don't know anything about Persona 5 other than... I don't even know if I say his name right. Yusuke? That's probably not even his name. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because I'm just going by my friend's horrible pronunciation over Snapchat. So I don't even know, but... Okay, hold on. Bum, bum. I don't want to do the da 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 because it's going to be the same thing as before. I got it right? Oh, yay! Okay, I was like, I don't know anything about this. Um, I don't have the patience for real town twos. Yours is just random. No, I wish you could start, like, set it to random. Like, I wish you could just be like, randomize and see what happens because that would be really, really cute, but... Bum 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 ba 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 bum. I don't even know if that's like the right. Just trying. There we go. Um. Oh, but that's way too fast. Okay, that's right. So, bum, 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 ba da 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 da. So, F and then E. And this might still be a little fast, just so it's not super drug out. Okay, that's perfect for the beginning. Da da da. That's right. Hold on. That's a little off. Hold on. So we have dun, dun, dun. Hold on. I think that's close enough. I, I think that's fine. All right, so that's Space Junk Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. I think it sounds fine. Woohoo! Thank you for. Oh, girl! Big one more from Odin Spack with the so freaking cool raid. Thank you so much. Big Odie. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Uh, welcome to Odin Spack, my girl, Little Foo, Wolf of Storms. Yo, yo, Yoshi95, Alan Edgehead. Welcome, Raiders. Let me see if this works this time. Remember when I tried to do this and I shouted out myself instead of Mega? And I was like, cool. I, that's not. Wait, what? How did this not? How do I do this? TM Sonic in the house. Why is it not working? How come I never do this? Maybe it's because he's already part of a, like, command. Is that why it's not working? I don't really know. I'm so confused. I'm so bad at Twitch innovative fun. So, I apologize. Lucas Kobe with the pride emotes. What? It looks like it's working. Well, doesn't it, like... No, like, I'm trying to get it where it says, like, Oh, this is Odin's back. He's playing... Or he was just playing Fall Guys or whatever, but instead it's like, nah. Oh, girl! Yo-yo! With the big sub! 29 months! That's my age, girl! I'm only 29 months old! Ooh! Big 
3030 hype. Thank you so much, yo yo. Welcome to the Ba family. I think that's is that our first sub of the night? I feel weird when I, I okay, this I instantly regret saying things like that because then if I missed a sub, I'm like cool I just totally ignored somebody earlier but I think you really are the first sub of the night and if you're not then I I promise I love whoever subbed earlier but I don't think I'm wrong <sighs> I just like to make things awkward anyway no for okay for me it just says be sure to follow Odin's back at blah they were why do I feel like this was longer usually I mean, I guess it does say it correctly, but I just, it looked too short to me. I am going insane. That's what's happening. I'm sorry. Does this work? I guess it was like, I don't, I think I just read what I wanted it to say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else I wanted to say. I, it looked wrong to me for some reason. I'm questioning it because I don't understand. Okay, well, while we're in this building, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Also, Armand2017 is in the house. I'm also gonna do this. Oh my god, I hate you, Nightbot. I hate you. Oh my god, Odie! Wow. Double rigged. I swear I don't rig this thing. It just, like, does not have good variety. Like, Streamlabs has major favorites, and I can't, I can't do anything about it. Okay, well, Odie's gonna pick our camper for the day because I swear these giveaways are not rigged, but they make me look really bad every single time I have one of them. So, yeah, super cool. <laughs> well, Nightbot doesn't have the ability to choose a camper, so you have to choose the camper. So, that's just too bad. So sad. So, I've got this nifty deck box of Animal Crossing cards complete with Rayquaza sleeves because hype. Gotta protect these rare cards, you know. But yeah. This is a lot of responsibility. Odie, you'll be fine. Oh, thanks, Wolf. I got these in the, I well, I got the Rayquaza deck box, or not deck box, what am I saying? Um, elite trainer box. It was a gift from Odie. I came home from, I think I came home from work and he had it like waiting for me on the table and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, so that was super fun, but I love Rayquaza. He's like one of my favorite legendaries. So I was like, yes, it came with like sleeves and I love those elite trainer boxes. Like they come with such cool stuff. Um, but yeah, Shy Guy for days, sup ladies. Why did you whisper this to me, Odie? Like, I don't understand why you whispered me your answer instead of just posting it in the chat. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, big secret. I'm like, uh... <laughs> I get a whisper and I'm like, what the heck is wrong? Nothing. Odie's just being a weirdo. Alright, well, he chose my aunt. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is Odie's choice. And here we go. Remember when I did this last time and it was like, oh, that's not an amiibo card. And it definitely was. It's like, uh, it's not my fault you have a personal problem. Touchpad or touch point. Come on, just read the card. Why? Yes, I would like to try again. Come on. This should not be this difficult. All right, big ant flow girl. Wait, no, not never mind. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Odie. Odie chose flow cuz he Look at how cute that sweater is. Girl, she got like the winter vibes. Oh, I'm ready for this. I wish the penguins like showed up in igloos all year long. Like, you know how they show, <laughs> you know how they show up like in igloos in the winter time and it's like my favorite thing in the entire world. I don't know if they do that in this game, but like in past games, 
You'd have like a random- She's so cute! That would be amazing if like certain animals showed up in igloos. I'm just like, come on now. Let's, let's go. She got that lovely outfit. She does! Oh, uh, yeah, penguins have the perfect posture in the game. Oh, I know. It really was such a cool, like, feature from the original. Kind of the random. Like, they would always show up in, like, a random spot, too. Like, you'd have to find them. Which was pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna run up and... Oh, look at this moon back there. Yes. You know, what I probably will do later is I probably will play as... Uh, Wario, which is the character I made that is living in that tent right there. I want to make a haunted house in this area, so I had to make a second character. But I need to, like, pay off his t debt, and I have to get, like, Nook Miles in order to do that, so I'm like, okay. Um, so I need to get on there and, like, fish and crap, but... Okay, this is Flo. I don't think she has a bio, but I always check just to make sure. Um, because... Yeah, but she doesn't have a bio, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So, I started looking scary stuff up on my phone, and yeah, I'm kind of panicking. No! Oh, an Iron Garden bench, ladies. I'll make you one. I don't even think I have this DIY. Give me that DIY. Oh, yes, girl. Free recipe hype. All right, well, she's super fun. Good choice, Odie. Um, oh my gosh, I can only, I, I would love if igloos appeared in the winter, but yeah, the moon. Oh my God, the, yeah, that was the only bad thing. Like in the original, they would make you gamble. They'd take like all your money, the campers would. It was so risky. Like, you could not have anything on you, or it was too risky. But, anyway. Letting the new character hold golden tools will help get Nook Miles a bit- Really? I don't know that I have any golden- I Well, I for sure have golden tools left, I think. I have this golden watering can. But, I don't know that I have any of my other golden tools. I think they've all since broken. What do I need for this? I think I only need like iron nuggets. Eight iron nuggets. So we're just gonna go home because that's gonna be fastest. And then we can change our outfit to, um, and then we can start flowing. So anyway, this is, no, this is just Madam. My new character is a boy because I made Madam and then the other character is Wario. Because I was like, well, whatever. I'll just have it be like both halves of my username. So. Because I'm a slave to tradition. And that is that is how it's done. I forgot I had this hot dog costume, too. Okay, well, that's a little... I mean, I guess that's pretty summery, too. But... Yes! I have the melon hat! Okay, so I need, like... Yes! Where, do I have any kind of shoes? I mean, I do have shoes, but do I have any kind of shoes that will match? <gasps> oh, ladies! I kind of like... I kind of like the Mary Janes with it. And then we have our little, like, bug purse. Do I have any fun glasses? Okay, now those look kind of dumb with this. Uh, this character, I never put glasses on, but my other character, I, like, have to have glasses on or she doesn't look as cute. So, I don't really know, but, um, heard ever, anytime you visit someone in GameCube, Villager would move. Yeah, no, like, it would. That's what happened. Holy, Bill the Fajita, big chicken. Now we've got chicken and chicken in the house. How's it going, ladies? Um... Welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Yeah, sometimes you'd be forced into a buyout with a villager. It was just too much. Like, there was, it was way too risky back in the day. These, like, gambles with villagers. Water pixels, you're wearing this super amazing melon hat, too. Yes. But 
yeah. Um, yeah, now that's hip hop. <laughs> uh, all right, what am I in here to do? I need to make this bench for flow because that's why we came in here and now I'm not doing that. I also need to check and see if I have golden tools because pixie with the strategies. I literally have this, a golden ax. I guess, oh my god, what? <laughs> Whoa, Aunt Flo shot Queen out of a cannon. Girl. <laughs> wow, thanks, Aunt Flo. Thanks for that $9 donation hype. So ridiculous. Thank you so much. Do I have any, like, penguin emotes? I don't think I do, or else I would, like, give them all out. I also don't have a queen emo. All right, well, I'm gonna give you Gingies and kitties, and then I'm gonna give you the snowman on fire because it's like, we were talking about igloos, but it's summertime. Oh my God, you guys, I realized what this was too. It's Pixie's kind of fault that I know. Yes, with the Allen stair. Oh man, I need the Allen stair shoe. Look at you guys with your, Alan with the top emotes, like, girl. Um, thank you so much, Aunt Flo, for the $9 donash. But this ha-ha hide, like, I didn't get what it was. I literally thought it was, like, Santa, like, in front of a Christmas tree. And then I realized it's that gif of Homer Simpson, like, disappearing into the bushes. And I was so happy. I was like, oh, my God, I get this reference, finally. <laughs> So dumb, but now I'm like, okay, now I know what this is. Before I just had no idea what this was. I just thought, I was like, why is this called Ha Ha Hide? Like, what does this mean? It was pretty great though. So now I get the reference. Pretty exciting. And now I cheat off my sister's Disney Plus account. So now I can like watch not weird okay one time i had a sleepover sleepover with pixie and he was like let's watch the simpsons but like you can't legally watch the simpsons on youtube so we ended up watching like clip shows of the simpsons where it would show like 10 second clips from different episodes and i'm like this is so like <laughs> this is so broken like this is not the way we're supposed to do this so it's like hey now i have disney plus sort of we can like now you can watch actual real life episodes instead. Okay, I don't need to craft anymore. Although I probably will make more of those eventually. Um, what is this that I'm holding on to? Oh, that's right. Flick was in my town yesterday and I got the common butterfly model. I only need the yellow butterfly model and those are just waiting. Like I have three yellow butterflies in storage waiting for that big moment when he arrives and we finally complete this butterfly. Butter butterfly garden so <laughs> uh lucario brawl how's it going this is our melon hat this is our big watermelon hat because we got the watermelon dress tonight um so i need to go dig up a spot over by the um butter or over in the butterfly garden to put the statue down so that's what we're gonna do but yeah Oh, that's Cookie's room. That is Cookie's replicated room, because I knew that we'd give her gifts and probably ruin her house, which is exactly what happened. So now we have her room documented forever, because it was so adorable. So, all right, here's your solid Iron Garden Bench souvenir flow. And, oh wow, it's lost. Oh my god, it worked! It's lost pimpness really does come through. I gotta take a photo of this. Yes. Um, no, this is just our camper. This is literally just our camper for the day. <gasps> she gave us a dragon suit? Oh my god, Odie, what is this choice? It's been a, it's been amazing. We got like a sought after DIY. And then we got this freaking dragon suit. Yes. Check out the dragoniness. It's hot. I like it, so. Flo is Uchi, she's, she's so cute. 
I kind of want her to move in now, but like then it'd be kind of cheating because she's an amiibo, and then it would like she's gonna be like, I can't. It'd be so much work. Fine, get out of here with your donut. Anyway. Yeah, superstar power game or Yoshi, how's it going? Yeah, that pimpness. You just chose a good, you made a good choice, Odie, because she gave us like all the good stuff. Yeah, Flo is a queen. It's true. Yeah, this, okay, this is our new plan. So tomorrow we're supposed to go villager hunting and we will, but if we don't find anybody after like 20 tickets, we're just inviting Flo because she was amazing, so. We're inviting Aunt Flo. She is not a hoe. Also, where do I need butterflies? Probably I need one like over here close to this pond. And these are gonna be smaller models, so I just hope it shows up right. And it does, it looks cute right there because then it's against the dark of like the stone. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so we just need one more butterfly model, the butterfly model, and then the garden's complete. Lionel, what are you wearing? We're in the Monique on fire shirt. Do I have a gift for him? Oh, we should give him the dragon suit because he would look really cute in it. Because it's in my catalog now, so I can always order another one for myself. But oh my gosh, is this really a dragon suit? Oh, thank you for the house, Ziploc rules. Man, Ziploc rules. Long time no see. <gasps> Look. Uh, oh my god, the shorts outfit is actually really cute. Oh, no, I didn't want to, like, stab him in the crotch. Somehow I don't picture this old, like, this old grandpa lion to be like, Oh, you ready for a rap session? It reminds me of my least favorite part of Elf. Like, Odie is so sick of me saying this all the time, but I say it all the time. I love everything about the movie Elf, except Santa! He's the worst! Like, Santa said- You guys have heard me rant about this before. I cannot get behind a Santa who says, How do you like dem apples? That just does not sit well with me. I'm like, mm-mm. No. I can't do it. That's too much. Please don't say that again. So, like, I just cannot do that. But, you've never seen Elf? Oh, it's a classic. It's a classic Christmas movie at this point. It really is. I'm just shaking these trees because a lot of the time my furniture is up in these trees and they're, like, the most out of the way. Um... <clears throat> Phantom, did I say hi to you? Welcome. Elf is an okay movie, not your favorite Will Ferrell movie. I think it probably is my favorite Will Ferrell movie. If I had to like, I know he's made like a lot of comedies and I'm probably gonna instantly think of like another one, but like, it's weird. My sister, like one of my sister's favorite movies is Anchorman and I've like never seen it. I've like never watched it and it was playing in her room like every day and I'm like I don't really know how I missed this but I did sorry I'm dropping these up here um so somehow I never saw Anchorman I saw parts of it like literally like two scenes and that was it um and then same thing happened with Talladega Nights I saw like the end of that movie like 10 times and never any other part of the movie and I'm like what am I doing um I think I've only seen Step Brothers once, and it was forever ago, and I can't even, like, remember what happened in it. Um, I saw Blades of Glory in theaters with Brie. Was that when we called each other, Brie? What movie was that where we literally called each other on the phone in the theater until more people came in? Because <laughs> we're stupid. <laughs> Why? Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, how well did these movies age? Like, at the time, when I was a teenager, it was like, oh my god, these are, like, the funniest. You know what I love? I just love Will Fer Best of Will Ferrell, SNL. That's, like, the best. Like, that that is one of the best, like, compilations of SNL skits. Like, I absolutely love his specific 
messed up. There's probably more than one volume, but like the first volume. That's like how I was introduced to Will Ferrell was literally from that DVD. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, yeah, the more cowbell is classic. So many of his skits are classic. Jeopardy, I love it. Um, Oh, Blades of Glory, you watched that on a plane and just about died when that one chick got sliced? Oh my god! <sighs> Pixie, you watch a lot of weird movies on planes. Like, um, when Odie and I were playing, it was either when we were playing Jeopardy or we were watching it when he was here. One of the answers was Boss Baby, and he's like, dang it, I would have known if I watched it on- I watched it with Pixie on the plane, and I'm like, why was Boss Baby the movie you guys could have watched? That's so dumb. All right, what's up, Goose? Ooh, Honeycomb Wall. I think we already have it though, so. Sorry about your luck. Oh, I'm not telling. Can you imagine somebody being like, do you know how to make this? And you saying, I'm not telling. Like, that's such a dumb thing to say. Um. You watched almost the entire second season of You on a plane and I don't think that people the people next to me appreciated it. <laughs> I think the only plane I've ever been on that played a movie was when I flew to London. That was the only time. And they played Harry Potter and it was so appropriate and I was absolutely like, yes, they're doing this right. Because I was 12 and the first Harry Potter had just come out, like, uh, the fall before. This was in the spring, the following year after it had come out, I think. And yeah, so you can't, it, that was perfect. Flying to London and they were playing Harry Potter on the plane. So I know, exactly. That's like how it used to be. All to watch the same thing. It was like, mm. but I don't think I've ever been on a plane that had like movies playing since. They've all been too short of flights. Like I think the furthest I've gone is California, which was a three hour flight, and they did not play anything on the plane. Which was probably just because I took like, I had like a cheap flight, but I don't know how that works, or it was like a paid service or whatever, but I really don't think there was even a screen, like, on, like, I don't think that was a thing, so. You never flew where everyone got to watch the same thing. It was pretty cool, like, it's kind of funny to think, like, it was almost like a... It was kind of fun knowing like all the people there were watching it too, like watching the same thing as you. It was like going to a drive-in, but you were on a plane. So I was talking to my mom last night about how we want to go to the drive-in since like, you know, you can't go to the movies right now. And drive-ins are kind of like classic for playing like older movies that you like, but. I watched most of Harry Potter in French too, mom, because we were both idiots and didn't know how to change it to the English channel. I got to like the, I think it took me to the chessboard before I finally turned it to English. Whoops. So that was a fun little French lesson, but anyway. Yeah. Almost all of my flights are cross country, so you're always squeezing in three movies per flight. I, I have, I don't, ha I only have like a handful of digital movies. Um, so I've watched Pitch Perfect flying somewhere before, cause that's one of my favorite movies. I've watched, I've watched a lot of Degrassi pl flying places too, because I also, I'm also a big, like, I just like to listen to music when I travel more than anything now, um, but, you know, Jake the Snake, how's it going? But, um, I haven't flown in a long time now, I think my last flight was coming home from my girl Allison's wedding, which was like almost going on two years ago now. So it's been a while, which is, it, I mean, really that's like back in the day that would have been like, oh my God, I flew more than once in two years. But like, you know, there was a time where I was flying like every couple months. So crazy. Anyway, it's a good thing. The Honestly, the only good thing about the virus is that you haven't had to fly as much as you did the last two years. So yeah, there you go. Um, I'm gonna roll, okay, this is gonna be kind of complicated, you guys, because we have so much music now. Like, we have literally a lot of music. And, I mean, there's still a lot to go, but I think we have a lot of the popular ones, so I'm gonna roll this for 
um, who gets to pick the KK song. And it's gonna be Armand 2017. So Armand, pick a song and then we'll go through and see if I already have it. So maybe put like three choices down. Um, just because like there are a lot, me? Yes, you, you get to choose the KK song for the evening because a bunch of people are sitting there right now. So we might as well take advantage of it. But they're in alphabetical order. So it's easy to see if um, we're missing the one you want. What are the choices? Are you not familiar with KK songs, Armand? Uh, because there are a heck of a lot of choices. I think I have KK Ska already. I don't have Bubblegum KK. That is a great one that I somehow don't have. Wait, what am I doing? Why do I feel like I just... There it is, KK Ska. I love it. Um... My favorite one is KK Fair. That is not KK Fair. This is KK Fair. This is my favorite one. KK Parade. Let me see if I already have it. I feel like we already have that one. Why can I not, like... Yeah, there it is. We already have KK Parade. Unfortunately. But yeah. Check it, cough, bubblegum, KK, cough. You're not familiar with Animal Crossing? Well, I can roll again, Armand. I mean, if uh, that's totally fine. I just roll for somebody random. <laughs> You're good. All right, well, check in. You're picking, and if you want bubblegum, KK, we do not have it, so that's perfect. Party on the weekend! All right. Armand, if I have any sort of thing later, I'll let you choose. Um, maybe you can choose, like, I don't know. Something for us to do later. Okay, give me that one song. This is- I, I'm actually kind of surprised we don't have this already, because this seems like one that would have popped up, like, in my catalog. But, I guess it hasn't. I think it has on my other game, so I was, like, never thinking to get it, because it was, like, one of the first songs I got on my Switch Lite, and so in my mind I already had it, even though it was not on this, uh, file, so. Alright, girl, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit right here next to Stitches, so I can be between Stitches and Cherry, so. Get ready for Bubblegum KK! Yes, ladies. It's true. Sometimes it's the mo more popular songs that you're missing. Pixie, you're not the first person to tell me that. Yeah, you just got Forest Life after 80 songs. Um, I think two weeks ago, one of my sister not Madam Toadstool, but my other sister that plays this game, um, Madam Yoshi, she was like, she's like, I need... I still don't have, uh, Forest Life. And I have, like, a million songs. I'm like, it happens. That's like this, though. I love Bubblegum KK, and yet I didn't have it. Look at how fast we're bouncing! Wow. KK with the, like, uh, the big notes. I just love that KK's naked. Like, everybody else wears clothes. Cherry's got her meme shirt on. KK just stark nude. Just singing. I find that odd. I'm kind of like, you know, why did they make KK nude and literally every other character wears clothing? Like, there's no other character in the game that is naked. <laughs> why KK? It's kind of like Goofy versus Pluto to me. Like, where Goofy is recognized as like... A humanistic... I don't... I think I just made that word up, but he's like a... He's like a human who's a dog, but then Pluto actually is a dog who acts as a dog, so it's like... I guess that's how KK is in this game. He's the Pluto of Animal Crossing. There are other dogs that can function, like Cherry, but not... not KK. He's Pluto. So... <laughs> recognize. 
Look, I'm not I'm not trying to judge. I'm just saying it's an odd realm. Just like the Goofy versus Pluto debate is bizarre to me. So. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's right, Lump of Coley. Celeste and Blathers, like, they don't really wear clothes either. Blathers has a bow tie. Hmm. But they at least have some sort of accessory. He wore clothes when he was a DJ, didn't he? I think he did. I don't know. Um, alright, give me that hot bubble gum. This has a really cute cover, too. Yes. Yes, girl. With these two ladies. I really thought that the blue one was a boy for the longest time. They were like boyfriend and girlfriend, and apparently that's not true at all. So I'm like, hmm. I guess I'm just wrong. Never mind. Alright, let's go find the rest of my fossils. We also have... What do we have? The shorts outfit that I need to try on to see what color it is. It's the same color as the one I already have, so we can give that away. And then... I also need to throw away this DIY because I don't need it. Yes, toss this and this. I know, I just threw those flowers away, but I'm getting to the point where I need to start organizing my flowers better, so I'm not worried about worried about it. Master Starman, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh, they're sisters. I thought they were just like besties. Now they're sisters too? It's not allowed. Oh, we should give um, Rhonda the shorts. Oh, those lights just went out. We should give Rhonda the shorts outfit. I want that. Fossil. Rhonda's unimpressed. All right, what are you doing over here? We're in this like plaid shirt. Okay. Here you go. Shorts outfit. Uh, Francine, the blue one, and Christine, the pink one. One's older sister. Okay. Oh, yes, Rhonda. Look at you, girl. Alright, we're just gonna be giving clothes away. So. I'm still looking for this Diplo chest. That's apparently the only fossil I'm missing, so that's super disappointing. Okay. So I've been checking every day and nothing. Also, we should see Marina since she's all packed up and... What's on her nose? Her sunglasses are on her nose. She has to prop them up there because they don't like actually go over her eyes. But anyway, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, Marina. So this means that one of you guys could easily get Marina um, as one of your new villagers, if you've ever visited my town or I've ever visited yours. And she has the chocolate, the pink chocolate flooring and the pink chocolate wall. And you can see that bottom there is supposed to be like the chocolate bar wrapper, which is super fun and cute. So I'm really hoping that when she moves out tomorrow, she leaves either her flooring, but hopefully her wall behind. Um, cause I have one or two of the chocolate flooring, but I don't have the chocolate wall of any kind. So I'm like, I hope that she leaves one of those behind as opposed to a piece of furniture. But we'll see, because I literally have like all of her furniture if that's the case. Cause it's just the cute, the like pink cute stuff. So. <laughs> you hate these chocolate walls and floors? You get so annoyed when they're what you end up getting. It's just not your style. There is a cuter one, honestly, that in the original game it was fairy tale wall and fairy tale floor, and then in New New Leaf it was um, the sweets wall and sweets floor, and it was like part of Gracie Grace, and so I feel like it could be part of Gracie Grace again because I haven't seen any of her designs in this game yet, nor has she been announced for the game yet. So it's just a matter of time and like an update. So I'm kind of like waiting for that because I think that's a lot cuter, but, but you know. Um, of course I get one of these that I don't need. So let's go ahead and identify these fossils. If we find a fifth or sixth or millionth fossil, then we'll deal with it, but, um, 
All right, Angelia, how's it going? Back home from some big shopping. Oh, you have gobstoppers. Nice. I also have gobstoppers. I had like two unopened boxes of gobstoppers that I was like, I'm going to fill up this candy jar with. And I poured them in and it's like, the candy jar is like this big and it's like that full. And I'm like, well, it looks sad now. Oh, well. I don't even know. So... But, you guys know me, if I try to eat gobstoppers on stream, then I have my mouth full of, like, candy, and it's super attractive. So I'm like, okay, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna save that for Halloween. We're gonna save the Madam Stuffs Her Mouth with Candy and Talks stream for Halloween, but... Sable is the shy one, Lucario. Mandom Life, how's it going? Welcome! Are you serious? You don't have a freaking Diplo? Come on. Off to work? Alright, well thank you, Chicken. Thank you so much for stopping by and kudos to you for continuing to work in this pandemic of craziness. So, I commend you. Thank you. All the love to Chicken. You gotta send Chicken love. Um... Okay, I have a... What the heck? I got a second right tarot wing. I sent one of these to Odie the other day after his super hunt where he never found any. And now I'm finding two in like two days. I can't. This is what's happening with my Diplo chest in somebody else's game. Somebody else is finding a, ch a Diplo chest every day and here I am like, where's my chest? Baby... Um, I am going to... Okay, so Pixie told me this, like, really good idea, and I was like, oh, that's so good. So I am going to, like, try and give away these fossils to villagers, who I still need their photo, because they're big and they're fun. <sighs> Gosh dang it, why? Um, and we'll see if we can get something, we'll see if we can get photos for them. Obviously, for Marina, it's too late, we didn't really give her the chance, but... What is Marina's, like, picture, by the way? And I didn't show this off last time. I meant to show off the... There's a cowboy festival that has a rodeo-style spring, springy ride on in um, the catalog. So I was really glad I saw this because I'm making a horse ranch in the wintertime. I'm reserving it for the wintertime. So, like, I was like, oh my god, I need this horse. Uh, but anyway, that's, like, a limited time. So are these outfits that are, like, really cute for the fireworks show because they're, like, traditional, um, they're, like, the traditional, like, I don't know, it reminds me of, like, Lucky Star when they dress up and go watch fireworks. I think that's for, like, New Year's or something, though. Maybe it's in the summer. I don't know. Oh, KK Rockabilly. I don't think we have this. Um, but yeah, what the heck is Marina's? Oh, we probably, oh, wait, there it is. Oh, her photo would have been cute! Dang it! Oh well. Too late now. So. It's too late. For her photo. Anyway. Oh my god. Angelia, don't do it! Don't do it! Oh my god! Murphy and Tutu hype! Yes, ladies! And Tutu's just walking into him like... Mm-mm. Okay, well, I'm giving you... Oh, I want to give Murphy. Terra body, Terra wing, pe peachy. Not not peachy. Pet? I don't know how to say this. I'm going to give him a skull, because why not? And Tutu and Murphy dating! Watch, he's going to give me, like, a big poop for it. Oh, a freaking nurse's jacket! Girl. Aw, look at him running over to tend to her. Like, I love her! She's sitting in that dumb arcade chair I gave him. So this is the dress shirt, which is a no. And this is the... Okay, nurse's outfit, which... We're gonna stick to the watermelon dress. And Tutu is going to sit and not let us give her a gift right away. But I am going to try and take a cute photo. Okay, why would I do it right there, though? Hold on, I need to go. Uh, why 
How is she making this face? Okay, I'm gonna try and get like a. Oh, don't look like that. Trying to get like a cute photo of the two of them, but Murphy's like not being very cute because he's just staring at the wall. He's not even staring at her, he's looking at the wall. Fine, we'll just get one of two two. It looks like she's concentrating in the woods. There we go. Now it looks kinda like she's talking to him. Oh my god, big, um, Nook Miles hype. Oh, I love Tutu so much. She is precious. <laughs> yeah, now this is the kind of wall I love. I love these, like, foresty looking walls, though. They're so cool. I do, I like the plants. Her name is Yona Bra. Salty Marks! Right on. right on. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Okay, I need to see if... Oh, Lionel's going through the hedge maze. Look at how cute he is. I love when they're going through this maze. So, so cute. Okay, I need to see if anybody's up here to give gifts to. It's like a ghost town up here. I think because so many people are listening to KK right now. No one's around. Did we give Goose a gift? Did we give him anything? I don't know if we did or not. Yeah, anything forest or woodsy or misty is totally your jam. I can see that. But they have like the coolest walls and stuff like that in here. Okay, I did not give him a gift earlier. Uh, I don't have his photo yet. I guess we'll give him the, I don't know, we'll give him the tail. Okay, why is nobody reacting like super excited to this? I don't want some glass bottle glasses. Dude. Why? I don't want this. Now I look like that guy from the Twilight Zone. No. Okay with this. Okay. I've never seen those glasses before. That's because they suck. I don't want these glasses. I'm giving them to somebody though. I will give them to one of these villagers. After I discover that this is probably not a Diplo chest. <laughs> glass bottle glasses or whatever. I got the Venus de Milo the other day. What if I said that? What if I meant real life? Um, that would be kind of scandalous. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Goose be like, have some glasses. I did. I unearthed a relic of Goose. I don't understand. Wait, Diplo Skull! That's the wrong part! I need a freaking Diplo chest! Come on! What a tease! This game is a total tease! I say I need a Diplo chest and it's like, here's a Diplo Skull. I am disappointed. Anyway. <laughs> so, woohoo! There she is! So check out the beautiful statue, aka the Venus de Milo, by an unknown artist, circa 130. Statue of Roman goddess, so fucking beauty. Venus was found on the island of Milo. The beautiful sculpture was made in the wonder. La, 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 la. Super hype. Anyway, so. Yes, water pixels, fireworks in your town! Every time you give punchy glasses, he was like, some people can't see real good and need to wear these, but some weirdos think they're fashion accessories. Wow, just a hater. Punchy just being a big hater. Um, I know, Red's been lot. Artwork has by far been the most difficult thing to get for your Animal Crossing Museum in every single game. I think it was the 
it wasn't easy, but sometimes they would have like really dumb things happen. And I think they kind of tried to implement it into this game a little bit, but then half the time they're fake. They would have like artwork buried sometimes and like a notice on the bulletin board in the original Animal Crossing for GameCube that was like, the artwork has been buried somewhere on the, on, in the village. And you'd go dig it, dig it up and like donate it. But it's like been the hardest thing in every single game to complete. And I know in this game your villagers will send you artwork on occasion, but every single piece they've ever sent me has been fake. So I'm like, well, I don't know how much I can get behind this. So it's just rough. Oh, he's going through the garden now. I need to redo this area. I've been saying this for a long time. I'm probably going to fill some of this in. Yes, Lionel! Thank you! Aww, yay! So. You've never gotten artwork from anyone. You literally just have to rely on red. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna pull something up really quick that I've been using for this. Um. Well, if I can find it, where the heck did it go? There's a bio, dream, bucket fish guide, hybrid guide, here we go. So this is the hybrid guide I used uh, to create this garden. So I'm gonna fill in the spaces. I originally left space between because I was like, I don't want, you know, I want more things to spawn than not, but I don't really think it's been doing me any favors. So I need to, I'm gonna start with pansies so um, what I probably need to do is add another yellow pansy in here so I'm going to add another yellow pansy in here and then add that white pansy just on the other side so we have like a, a whole row of white which is fine because that makes blue and then we have more opportunity for the orange and then the mid will be the purple so if that makes sense so yeah originally i left those spaces between because i thought it would encourage more um growth i guess i don't know a bit with more space around but it didn't really do much so i was like well I probably need to fill this in more and go from there. So let me just take one of these yellow guys and put him down there so that way a red is sandwiched between two yellows and then it can kind of appear wherever. But according to Wiki, Jock, Lazy, Smug, Cranky Villagers. Oh, okay. So it's like certain types of villagers that send artwork. Um, smug villagers can only s oh interesting smug villagers can only send forgeries and cranky villagers can specifically send any sculpture real or fake but not paintings how bizarre like what what a strange mechanic but that's pretty cool pretty cool to know anyway yeah so now we have double the possibility of getting orange um two red two hybrid red makes purple and two um white make blue i really like the orange ones a lot so that's kind of why i'm like oh i like how they're like multi stripes that's really cool huh yeah it i think all i think every time i've gotten a painting from a villager it's been a smug villager as well and they've all been fakes like uh julian sent me a painting and it was fake and someone else sent me a painting that was fake too. If it wasn't, who else do we, ha do we even have anybody else that's smug? If we don't, it may have been in my other town. But I know I've gotten two and they've both been fake. So it's like, well, um, okay. So there, there are my tulips. Uh, and then what do I want to do for tulips? So I have two orange together to make purple. I'm probably going to increase that to... I have the two red, the one red, and one white to make pink. And then... 
Yeah, so I'm probably gonna just increase the orange ones to make more of a possibility for purple. Whoops, I didn't mean to dig that one up. So I need to dig up some of these other ones. Okay. I think these are orange. There's a freaking mosquito. No, don't do it. Don't bite me. Um, orange. The orange ones look so similar to red that it's hard to tell sometimes. These are like right in the path. I don't know why I haven't moved these sooner. These gold roses also I'm gonna move somewhere else. Anyway, we're just gonna kind of do some work on this hybrid garden uh, for the moment. And... Then we're probably gonna do some diving after that. Because I still am working on getting all the mermaid DIYs. Let's put two more orange over here. And... Yeah. Alright, so we'll mess with... We'll mess with the others later. Let's go ahead and do some... Diving! Anyway. Uh, you made homemade chicken noodle soup tonight? Well, nice! Sounds very comforting. I mean, I don't eat chicken, but I know that's like one of the comfort foods. Okay. No, if I do that, then it's gonna be the... I'm gonna end up selling the wrong thing or something. Okay. Um, you went to get a song from KK, no one was there, and now they're all there? Of course. It's always like that. It's always like that. Alright, so let's get a scallop right away, please. Because that's what we like to do. We like to get scallops right away. And this is not a scallop. This is a horseshoe crab, baby. Okay. I'm on a- I'm just- I've got nothing but pearls from Pascal pretty much for the past two weeks now. I've gotten like one DIY and one dress and that's been it. So it's like, you know, I need- I need more DIYs. Like, I've kind of teamed up with my friend Pixie, and we've been sending each other, like, the full collection when we get it, but, like, I still need... So I have almost the entire collection, but I need, like, the actual DIYs for some of them still. So. You know. Um. But anyway. You want a room full of moon jellyfish? Yes. You've never seen a horseshoe crab, Jeremy? They're super cool, but I love anything from the ocean. They're like pretty standard in aqu in aquarium, so like if you've ever if you ever go to a Ripley's aquarium, they will have horseshoe crabs guaranteed. Just got back. What's this about Flo? She was our um she's our big camper. Okay, come on. Why am I not doing this? Alright. Got that muscle for working out. I also love jellyfish. Again, I love anything from the ocean, so it makes sense. But they're just so, like, magical. You had a roommate at one point who wanted to get a jellyfish aquarium at one point. I'm sad we never did. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. That would be so cool. I love how in aquariums, like, the jellyfish area always has, like, a, a black light or something in it and they just glow. I'm like, that is so amazing. Vancouver's Aquarium has so many jellies! I wanna go. I prefer aquariums to zoos, because... I'll say it again, I've said it, like, five times, but because the ocean is my favorite. 
also. I didn't even know that was possible until she said she wanted it. I've been to the three different Ripley's Aquariums. So I've been to Ripley's in Ripley's Aquarium in Myrtle Beach, which was the first Ripley's Aquarium I've ever been to. Um, I've been to Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg and the Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. And every single one of them is slightly different and has like, they're all different and they have different things. So it makes it really cool because it's like a unique experience no matter where you go. And in the Gatlinburg location, they have like a shark pool. At They all have the tunnel. They all have like the tunnel you stand through or walk through. I think you really just stand through it. And it like moves you and you see the sharks and everything. And that's really cool. But, um, is, oh, this is probably one of those big clams. Anyway, but, um, the one in Toronto has like, or not Toronto, the one in Gatlinburg has a shark area and I thought it was like a petting area, so I stuck my- This is how- okay, let me preface this with our zoo in Indy is like one of the best zoos in the- it's like one of the best zoos in the country. I know it is, but we have like a shark petting area where you pet like these little sharks. So they have these like little hammerheads, and so I stuck my hand and I was like petting them, and then someone comes over the intercom and is like- um, they're like, dear guests, please do not, <laughs> please do not pet the sharks in the shark exhibit. Thank you. And I'm like, it wasn't me, guys, I swear, except it totally was me. Whoops. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, hey, they were into it. They like the pets. I don't know. But, you know, they were like little, they were like this big, like little hammerhead sharks. And I was like, oh, and hammerhead sharks are my favorite. So I was that person and it was a fun time. You know, you have to be that person at least once, I guess. It's like um, my sister, Madam Toadstool, was Momo, like from Avatar. And I've never watched Avatar. I've seen like the first four episodes and I couldn't get into it. But anyway, she was Momo from Avatar. And... So we were at MAGFest and there was like this trellis gazebo thing on the third floor, I think, at second or third floor, and a lot of people take pictures in it. And I was like, we're like, okay, well, since you're like a lemur type thing, you should like get on it and we'll take a photo. So she like climbed on it and then she was that person who the like hotel staff had to come up to and be like, um, you can't climb on that. <laughs> it's like, whatever. We all have to be that person at some point in time, I guess. So, you know that, like, like, for example, in the aquarium, I was the person that the employees were going home that night. Like, oh my god, what an idiot. Like, of course, some girl sticking her hand into the shark tank. And then my sister was like, oh, of course, somebody had to climb up that thing. So, you know, it's like the... The things you come home from work and say to your friends or your family or whoever or your significant other and tell them about. That was my moment of being that person and hers too. So it was super fun. Anyway. Um, right, like every single one has had a petting area like that. So I'm like, but apparently not, at, like that was unacceptable at that one. Like you weren't supposed to pet the sharks, only other things. And I'm like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that it was that way at one point in time, but then, like, too many sharks got injured by actual idiots going in there and being like, Oh my god, it's an animal! It's put on Earth so that humans can manipulate it! Because I hate people. And, um, so, probably. I, I would imagine that's probably what happened, but, um, they were watching me. It was true. When we were waiting for Runaway Guys at PAX East, yes! You got yelled at for blue jumping on chicken's shoulders for the epic blue cam. Yeah, one of our friends got on another of our friend's shoulders, chicken, who was just here. Our friend blue got on chicken's shoulders to take like a big panoramic shot on his camera of the room and got yelled at. So they were like, you can't be up there. <laughs> oh, so it's pretty funny. But... I know that the, uh, I've been to, I think it was the, I think it was the Gatlinburg Aquarium that had, 
like a sea urchin area where you picked up a sea urchin and that was cute. So it's like all, you know, just a cool thing to do. Um, and then they have horseshoe crabs that you can pet and you can touch. So they always have that. And then I think all of them have had that. I think, um, if anything, the Toronto one didn't have that, but the, the Myrtle Beach one and the, uh, Gatlinburg location definitely had that. Um, but the Toronto location had shrimp that you, like, stuck your hand in there. And they, like, raced to get to your hand. And just like the shrimp in Finding Nemo, um, they're, like, obsessed with cleaning. So they were giving, they gave manicures. They really did. They cleaned under your nails. They cleaned your nails. They were all about cleaning those nails. They were like, oh, my God. And they would, like, flop like run to your hands in the water it was the cutest thing and it felt so cute them like picking like oh i have to clean this um so that was that was adorable i loved the shrimp part no tried to find a dipo chest for you but big failed did you complete your museum did you officially complete it odie um um so yeah, but I I made the mistake. <laughs> I was like talking to Odie and Pixie, who I was in the Toronto aquarium with, and there was this little girl next to us, and the shrimp were on her hand too. And I'm like, see, this is why I don't eat shrimp. And the little girl was like, people eat these, and I was like, no. <laughs> like she was so heartbroken. So I was like, oh, I don't. I was just like, okay, I gotta play this off because I'm about to break this girl's heart and this is why I became a vegetarian when I was 10 years old. So here we go. But anyway. Um. Oh, girl! Yes! Thank you so much, Bobo! Hey, it wasn't, I mean, really, it was just by chance, but you're welcome, Odie! Dang, 100% of the entire museum! Yeah, what if? What if he ha what if Odie 100 percent at his entire museum before the rest of us? I know, just traumatizing children as usual. So. Um. Yeah, see- Yes! They have the- Oh my god, I had the coolest, but weirdest, encounter with, uh, Stingray once. I- They had, like, a Stingray petting area- that's a big area in the Myrtle Beach location of Ripley, Ripley's Aquarium. So, Stingray Petting Area was the best. They have, like, those giant spotted, like, giant spotted stingrays. They had one that was up with all the other, like, regular gray stingrays. I'm telling you guys I'm a mermaid. But anyway, <clears throat> it swam up to me. I don't know why. Swam up to me took its stinger, like, its long tail, not like its deadly stinger or whatever, but like, its tail out of the water and slapped me across the back. And even the person working was like, oh my god, I've never seen him do that. And I'm like, what the heck? I so he gave me a pat on the back and I, all I was doing was like, leaning down like they said to. They were like, yeah, just lean down and put your hand in. That was when I was, like, 14, I think. It was so cool, though. I was like, oh my god, it knows me. And it was, like, trying to communicate with me and be like, I know you from a past life. This was my fantasy that I then built up in my head after that moment, which is 100% true, according to my brain, so. It was, like, so weird, but it was so cool. Uh, okay, and look at this, guys. I've been doing this for how long now, and we still have not found a single scallop. So, yay, go me. Oh, it's the same as always. Okay, I have four, four chances before I'm going to have to empty out my pockets to find a scallop. Come on, let's go. Dang it! Come on! I just cannot. Okay. Let's do... This? No! 
Dang it, I thought that was it for a second. Like, when I was coming up, it kind of looked like one. But it wasn't, so that's kind of... That's not as exciting. Okay, come on. Wow. Do scallops actually have a pattern? Like, what do you mean? Like, on their... Like, in this game, like a swimming pattern or whatever? Oh, yeah. They, they do run away a little bit. So, like, they do... It's like a medium-small shadow, and they kind of do, like, scurry away from you as you get close. They're not, like... They're not, like, super fast, but you do have to chase them a little bit. So if it's ever, like, super still, it's probably not a scallop. But yeah, they have, like, a medium speed, yeah. And now, I think my pocket's full. I'll try one more time. Right here. I didn't even realize it was shadow sizes, so... Whoops. Well... Can I swap it with- no, I can't litter. It's like you cannot throw this DIY into the ocean. Um, I think these things aren't worth very much. So, okay, well I'm gonna swim to shore, empty my pockets, and then try this. Yo-yo, head to bed! See you next stream de la stream, alright! Good night, yo-yo! Um... But yeah, I... I don't understand this. Sometimes you find those... You find them right away, and other times no. Oh yes, but I do need to give you a gift. Okay, I need to give you one of these fossils. I'll give you my... I'll give you this body. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Naibu? How's it going? Welcome to the Stram de la Stram. What the heck? Bold Mew Mew. What the heck is this? Oh, my pockets are full, so I can't try that on. Whoops. Um, and Paper Toad, welcome as well. How's it going? I'm saving these bottle glasses for somebody. I'm selling the rest of this crap. So... Usually when a lot of bubbles are showing up, but not in a straight line, it's a scallop. I've never really paid attention to the bubble pattern, but... Huh. I'll have to- I'll have to be a little bit more observant of that then. I just realized there's like a life saver in here too. Which probably would be good for my catalog, because I think I have a different one. Also, I'm going to save this giant clam for now. Because I want to- I want to show off how cool this looks, because I was thinking about putting one of these in my mermaid room. Um, grab this really quick, too. So. I know! I don't have any- there are no in-game melon pants, so. But we do have this melon dress under our- we are wearing a melon dress underneath of our- whatever it's called. Wetsuit. I was like, why can I not think of the name of this? But <laughs> sex machine? I don't feel bad. My villagers call me jockstrap. You always have to give them an an insanely inappropriate. No, I don't want to show it off. I want to set it down. Nickname at least once. Like, look at how cool it looks in this tank. Does this like have a a backside? Okay, no, that's the cooler side. Like, it looks so cool in there. I'm like, that would look so, like, spiffy in my mermaid room. So that's what I want to do. I should. I sh Well, I don't even think you can design pants in this game, can you? Isn't that, like, the one thing that they're like, Oh, by the way, you're not allowed to design pants. It's so annoying. Oh boy, what's this, girl? From Rexo. Oh, miss you. I miss you too, Odie. Odie with the big miss and the sad face. Oh, giving me a clawfoot tub. Yes, girl. Look at how fancy. So cute. I love these little clawfoot tubs. 
Is this the same one we have in our house or do we have a different color? I think we might have the pink one. But you know what? We're gonna have another one because it's cute. So. Um. <laughs> All right, give me whatever this is. Okay, this could be a good sign. This could be a scallop or it might be like one of those shrimp that's off. No, why do you do this as soon as I get close to it? Come on now. It's probably a shrimp. It's probably that tiger shrimp. Yeah, the tiger shrimp, or mantis shrimp, not tiger. They tend to swim a little faster. Oh, I miss you too, Odie. I can't believe this takes me this long sometimes. Just to find, and if he gives me a pearl, then I'm gonna be really mad. So, uh, is swimming like a new the new money strap besides turnips? You make a lot of money diving. Like, luckily, most of this stuff is worth quite a bit. Like the the giant clam I have in my pocket right now is worth like fifteen thousand. And once you know the strategy of catching it, like, oh. Oh, yes, girl! Once you know the strategy of catching it, then they're super easy to catch and you can get like a lot of uh, money for them. I don't, the only thing is, I don't think you get more money for them from, uh, from CJ. I think he only like, you can only sell like actual fish you catch with like a fishing rod, which is kind of stupid. I don't know, I'm like, bring Wendell back, and Wendell can be like the diver, because he's all about eating, and he's all about, like, um, being in the ocean? I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. If you're cool with wearing your pajamas all day, maybe you actually just like wearing your clothes to bed. Wow. Pascal with the wisdom. Yeah. So, it's kind of annoying that CJ doesn't, like, recognize... Oh, yes, mermaid sofa, baby! Do I have the mermaid sofa? I do. I, I did get the mermaid sofa from Pixie. Why can I not get on... Why can I do this? Why does this game hate? Apparently I can't go back on the shore this way. Oh, stuck in the ocean. Whoops. Um... In Japan, CJ's name is Justin, like Justin Beaver. That's amazing. I thought that was Justin Beaver's name when I first heard of him. I thought he was Justin Be Beaver. That's pretty great. I like that better than CJ, to be honest. Okay, well now I have one more of these DIY recipes. I'm gonna show off what I have up here too. I think the only thing I don't have out is the bed currently because it was the last thing I got and I didn't do anything with it. I just got it and put it away. Uh, oh, hold on. What else do I have? I'm gonna put my claw foot tub away. I'm gonna put this away. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that down on the beach somewhere outside. Okay, so now, so this room's like super packed. I had the pool over in the corner here, um, just because I liked how it looked in here, but now I think I'm going to have to choose between the pool or the hot tub. Um, so I'm going to take the pool out for now. Whoops, and we're going to look at the mermaid bed. Yes, bye B. Okay. Uh, we could also do this. How do I select multiple? No, 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 no. I wonder if I could do this instead. If that looks dumb. No, no. <sighs> this game. Okay, come on. Da -na -na. Hmm. 
Maybe that's better. Yeah, there we go. I think that's better. Is that facing front? I have like a under the sea mobile in my other town and it's not ever appeared in this town. So I'm kind of like, well, poop but stink, I guess. I think it looks cute because that's all the mermaid furniture. I'm just trying to get all the recipes now. But I think it looks really cute. Yay! Um, I love the sea globe too. It, it's also one of my favorite I items for sure. But yeah. The David Barnes, you're so tired you can't sleep. Girl, lucky you don't have work today. Oh, thanks, Madam Mom. I love it. I love the mermaid room. It's so cute. Pretty perfect. And you can get on like both beds. I wanted it to be functional too. I didn't want it to just be like, oh, you can walk in and not do anything in this room. Um, yay, I think it's perfect. I, If I find that mobile, then I'll put it on the wall or I can get it from my other town. But um, okay, I had this guy. You also can't have, um, what's his face cj or whatever you cannot have him okay it doesn't look good in this room but if i ever decide to do just a regular under the sea room again then it would look pretty good but you can't just do like a regular um or a statue sorry because cj doesn't accept like ocean like diving creatures you can't like make a statue of any of that stuff which is sad because i would totally make a statue of that clam but, oh well. Just not a thing. Okay, well at least it didn't take us the entire, excuse me, the entire year to find that scallop. Marching man, thank you for the host. Uh, and I need to put this life ring down on the beach somewhere. So many people are over at KK. Okay, I'm just gonna like throw it down right here. Great. And before the shop's shop closes, I'm gonna sell the last of this stuff. I'm doing well, I'm doing all right. How are you marching band? Although I do need to reheat my tea, so I'm gonna do that really quickly because it got cold. Always reheated my tea that I let get cold. So, um, okay. really, I could give these sea creatures out as gifts too, but who knows how many of those people are actually going to jump down. Okay. So. Man, I want Odie to reheat my tea. Y'all ask Kitty. I ask Kitty to do errands all the time for me, and she never does them. So I'm like, Kit. So I'm like, come on, Kit. Is it bad I'm a Brit that doesn't like tea? No, I'm an American who doesn't like coffee, so it's fine. So it, it's I I feel the same. So it works out. I wish you could too, Odie. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back up to the mermaid room. And I got a super cute gift from my girl Little Foo. Who was part of the raid earlier. I don't know if she's still here now, but she sent me a really cute gift the other day. And I was wanting to... Oh, that's cute. I was all worried it'd be nasty and it's cute. Okay, well, I'm putting that away then. So anyway, I was wanting to thank her on stream, but she sent me a new outfit to go dreaming in. So I was like, oh, perfect. So now I have to find it. 
Is it, uh, it's not this. I know, I gotta go get that tea in a second. Am I looking right past it or was it a top? Hold on. Okay, there we go. So she sent me the yellow top so I don't look like Santa. I thought it was like a yellow. That's the dollhouse dress. Am I passing it? It was a yellow outfit. Where did it go? I have no idea where it went. Am I seriously passing this outfit? It was like a little pajama dress, so why can't I see it? Okay, I'm gonna have to look through these nightgowns. Why am I seriously just like, I don't know what happened to this dress. What happened to my pajamas? Oh wait, no, was it this? No, that's the bunny dress. No, tech, maybe it's under shirts. Oh, it is under shirts. Why is this under shirts? What the heck? A terry cloth nightgown. It's so cute. But look at that. That should not be a shirt. That should be a dress. I was really scared for a second that it was like in my pocket when I sold my stuff or something. I was like, uh, no. Oh my god. Okay, well, can we just like take our pants off so that we don't have to wear any sort of pant like this is what i don't like about the shirts you just have to have like underwear on that doesn't make sense i don't know okay well anyway so we're going to take that off well maybe we have like a pink pair of there we go we have like these pink shorts that we can wear to match our pink we also have these sweatpants well, the sweatpants look cuter. We'll wear those. I think those are the only slippers we have. But anyway, shout out to my girl Little Foo who sent me this top and this hat to go dreaming in. And it's super hype. I can't believe that that's a top. That's really irritating. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the jackets are undershirts too even when they're super long which makes sense I guess but who knows yeah I don't know it doesn't make any sense to me boo 1220 girl how's it going um okay so I'm going to accept this outfit we're gonna go upstairs we also could have changed upstairs but I was impatient and this time we're going to have um we're gonna have a keyword for this so Okay, so the keyword, um, if this is to enter a dream address, does not have to be your own. It can just be one that you found that you think is cool. So um, just enter the word sweet if you have a dream address you'd like to send me. And again, whether it be your own dream address or one that you found online that you'd like to share and show off on stream, um, any of them are fine. Old school Matt, how's it going? Um, but yeah. So the, the code word is sweet. And we are ready for it. So. Your town has developed enough since last time I saw it. Oh no. That's okay. All right. Lump of coley. Looks like you're the big winner. So congrats. Uh, feel free to send me or you you don't have to send it to me privately you can just post it in the chat because this doesn't impact anything if it's public um send me a dream no you don't have to whisper me because this is different like other people can go to the, the i did the same thing last time i was like okay so whisper me and i was like wait we don't have to whisper this like it doesn't matter everybody can go dream at the same place at the same time and it doesn't affect anything there's no loading screen or any of that so um yeah i want to sleep all right well, we're gonna sleep in our new mermaid bed and we're gonna go to lump of coley's choice thank you so much what's going on with this 
Um, so this is Luna. If you guys weren't here last time, I don't even know that I showed off Luna's bio. When I see it, I'll know, but I don't know if I did or not. So anyway, this is Luna. She's a dream eater. Um, she's very discreet, but she'll haunt your dreams. Shout out to 40 year old virgin, which is a fantastic movie. It's so funny. Okay. I want to dream. So we're going to connect to the internet. I'm going to do, I'm going to be a narcissist and do my own town. That's totally fine. Lump of Coley. I just want to put out the option so that like, you don't have to feel obligated to do your own town or if you want to enter again, you could just be like, oh, go visit this person's town. Um, or whoever, I don't know. I just wanted it to be like more open to where you have more options than just your own. If you're like, my town's not ready or something. So, no, two, five, five, nine. All right, so this is the dream address for Lump of Coley's town. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, for I bet, Brie. Oh my gosh, yes. I have literally, the only town I've gone to, like the only dream address I've gone to was last week. Or like, was that Tuesday? Ooh, Burgundy, yes! I don't even know when this was. The last time I streamed this, where we did dream addresses, it was the only time I've ever gone dreaming. Because it doesn't have a random feature, and that's really annoying to me. So, will it show the bed you fall asleep in for this? You asked that a while ago, but yes, it does. So, <laughs> so you can dream in one of the boxing ring corners. That's amazing. Oh my God, please try it, Odie. You got a big try. I felt like the game would yell at me if I didn't go somewhere right away. So I used Reddit to figure out where to go. <laughs> That's awesome. Now open your eyes. Whoa, I always wanted to wake up in the middle of a plaza. Cool. I'm probably going to update my own dream address after this just because you get tickets for updating. And again, I don't know what these tickets do. I'm like, what do, what do I even do with these? Queen, what are you doing? He's causing a ruckus. Have I been to the Ica Village? I haven't been to the remake, no. Only the original. So... Girl, so welcome to Burgundy, where we're going to scare this moth out of our dream. And we're going to just run around. And this is kind of fun because if you go to people's towns, you don't have to worry about, like, destroying their flowers or taking stuff. Like, it's all very, um, where did this person go? Oh, there they are. Wait, we had this, we had truffles. She was, like, one that we started with, remember? And we totally dissed and forgot about her. Whoops. So. What? Um. Yeah, Luna needs to give you things besides tickets like that bed. I need more of those. You just sell the tickets? You don't, like, trade them for anything? I was saving them because I was like, am I supposed to trade these for stuff? I really didn't know. And I'm like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, but... Okay, well now I know, so thank you, you guys. Truffles has no bio. Because... I don't know, she looks like a peanut. Like, one of the peanuts characters. You also have, like, no tools or anything when you go here, so my, um, muscle memory always kicks in and is like, oh my god, I need to dig up that spot, and you can't. Check out this soccer fi field just full of lilies. <laughs> That haircut is whack. Oh. So cute. I love the playground elephants. They are the best. And look at this little picnic table. Lump of... Coley, have we ever been to your town before? It, because if we have, it was probably a really long time ago. <gasps> Two bears sharing the beach. We love it. The tickets are worth 500 500 5,000 bells. All right, well, I'm sad that you can't trade them for anything. I was hoping you could use them to, like, trade Luna for, like, dream stuff. But 
You can if they give you a shovel. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've been to your town either, Lump of Coley, but that's what I was saying. Sometimes I have been to people's towns before, but they've changed so much since I've been there that I don't even know. Sorry, I'm running to the front because I missed... Look at your beach wedding! Oh my gosh, I feel like... Okay, I was like, I know I've seen a beach wedding like this before, so it must have been somebody else's town that I saw the beach wedding, because I was like, I could have sworn. I don't know, I'm having deja vu, it's because I'm dreaming. That's so cute, though. I love that you have, like, the grand piano on the ocean. You have, like, the whole band and reception area ready to go. <laughs> I love that you have this song playing with it. Whoa, skiff! Oh my god! Oh, I'm yawning. Sorry. I stopped breathing. Oh, is this like a cute little cafe? Oh my gosh, you have like your own little cafe going on! So you have like the cafe that they rented out for the wedding reception, and then you have the wedding venue. So, I'm a fan. It's super cute. Mm. Phantom, it probably was your beach wedding. Oh my gosh, Ed! What's up, Ed? I don't think Ed has a bio, but Ed is a cutie. And he has a shower! Look at that! His shower looks so out of place in this room. Although his furniture, like, is very similar to what we have. I wish you could, like, change in the shower. You could just get in the shower. I'm having that strange feeling that this has all happened before. Deja vu! I just talked about it. Told you guys. Told you. It's a thing. It's because we're dreaming. So. And shooting stars, I'm wishing on them because maybe they didn't play test it enough and I'll have some fragments. What? I haven't had a meteor shower in months. Like, months. I think that that Ed is referencing the old TV show. There was like an old TV show back in the day that the horse's name was Ed and he talked. And I don't know if this show was just called Ed. Um, or what? Check it out, Cole with the pirate outfit. Look at this hype. Solid pirate suit. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's it oh wow um oh that reminds me of what I, mr ed okay i was like i know that this was an old show i never watched it but i used to see um clips of it on like tv land or whatever they would have like little ads that would have clips of old tv shows and that was one of them and i remember seeing a thing on animal planet that showed how they made the horse move his mouth to look like he was talking. And he just, like, had a string in his mouth that they would move and he'd, like... It was kind of dumb because it was, like, he was just getting irritated, so... You know. Animal rights and show business has developed. I don't think that they, like, were abusing him or anything. I'm not saying that, but I think that it's, like, a... Uh, it was one of those things that I'm like, but that just would be annoying to be feeling that if you were the poor horse. But yeah, that was the show. Anyway. Um, oh my god, this house! <laughs> he has, like, the little library in the corner. Poppy is so cute! I don't think I've ever seen Poppy. I am so excited for this fall furniture. Like, so excited. I cannot wait. Um, Poppy is really cute. And has the most adorable house. I This is a lot like... Um, like Deirdre's house and Deirdre's my favorite deer and one of my favorite like top 10 characters in this game um and I love this this archway with the pine cone and the button this is like all the cozy comforts that I dream of in the fall so I'm like okay yes I need this I need it I need it <laughs> Once the fall hits, I think my basement is going to become like a nature escape because I know that I'm going to be in love with all the furniture. Okay, well, I've never seen Poppy before, so we know that Poppy 
Doesn't have a bio. Oh, there's a gong. Oh, here- Oh, there's somebody up there. Wait, I need to see you. Okay, hold on. I need to see you, baby. Although, I guess if you don't have ramps, like in dreams, you're just kind of screwed because... Like, how would you get up anywhere? Okay, this must be this person's house. This is Daniel. Welcome. Well, thank you, Daniel. That's exciting. Poppy has such a cute tail! I didn't even look at the tail! Shoot. But, um... Oh, that- this house is your house. Okay. Oh, dang, girl! Look at how fancy this is! Yes! Look at this design! Oh my god, that's so cool! Yes! And, you know, I love to go in people's houses and just immediately roll around on their bed. This is really cute, though. I've never seen anybody do, like, a traditional style room like this, like, that's kind of like a mix of, like, a traditional Asian style with kind of, like, modern. I, like, I've never seen this combination. I really like it. It's really, really cute to have, like, the red with the dark brown. I like that a lot. It looks really good together. I do, too. I love how that looks together. <gasps> Look at your, like, oh, you have, like, a kitchen, like, cooking show. Oh, my God, that's so cute. You have, like, a host in the kitchen, and they're filming. That is adorable. Oh, I love that. You have such a good interior design. Dang. Lump of Coley with the strat. That's amazing. Daniel is your boyfriend who never plays but lives on your island. Okay. And you got that spaghetti hype. This is super cute in here. I love how you put this together. That's amazing. Yes, your home is so good. It really is. Um, yeah, this is Lump of Coley's town. So we're dreaming in Lump of Coley's town right now. You're gonna go to sleep, David Barnes? All right, we'll have some sweet dreams and a good night. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen this wall with like the trees and stuff. Is this like a... Is this supposed to be like a little like, um, auto yard or something? I don't know if there's a reference here, then I'm not getting it, but it's... But it's super cute with, like, the... It has, like, a behind-the-scenes... Oh my god, I love this! <laughs> Bree loves your house, Lump of Coley. This is super cute, though. I love this song. Oh, it does feel like cars! Oh my god, more or less, like, vintage gas station. Okay. It does have that cars feel, though. It's so cute. I like it. I like the vintage vibe. Now I got you. I just wanted to- I wanted to confirm. I was like, I don't want this to be a reference to something, and I'm, like, overlooking it. Yeah, cars- cars vibes, for sure. So cute. <laughs> Oh my god, and you have like a whole like... Oh, this is like so cute. It's like a diner style like living room or game room. Oh, look at how cute that is. I didn't realize the darts like appear as you touch it. I like how you have like a bar stocked like behind... behind here. This is so cute. Look at that. I love this wall. I know I talk about this every time. This wall with Marilyn Monroe on it. I'm like, why can I not get down off of this? It's super cute. I love it. 
It's the lounge. <laughs> it is the lounge. Let's go upstairs. All right, what's going on upstairs? Oh, you have a little, you have a school up here. Oh, it's like a school and like a, that's adorable. It's almost like a, a school and a daycare, like style. I like how you have the little like, look, you have like the, the teaching desk and then you have like the teacher's desk or the principal's desk. You even have a hamster in here. Class pet, hi. This is so cute. Lump of Coley, you're so good at like design. Like, look at this. You're so good at like interior design. I love it. Look, you even have like music class. You have a shop class. You have the library. You've got a locker. You've got it all going on. That's really cute. It's an elementary school. I love it. What? The number shirt's on the wall. I missed this. How did I, like, look right past this? Um. Was that not in this? Oh, there they are. Oh, my God. That's so cute. They're way up at the top. That's why I was like, wait, why did I not see this? That's so cute. Aw. That's adorable. I love it. <laughs> yeah, the posters of the Student Hall of Fame. I know, I love the details. Like, check and set. Like, the details are hype. Look at this spa bedroom. What the heck? Oh my god. Lump of Coley, I think so far you win for my favorite house so far that we've visited. Like, no offense to anybody else we visited, but like, oh my god, your house is so well done. Like, look at this. Because you don't just do, like, the traditional stuff I always try to do, which is cram everything along the wall and then, like, one thing out in the center. Like, you have it, like, very well put together. I love it. Look at the- it's like the little details. Like, you have, like, the- you have, like, the bug cage, and then you also have, like, a telescope. Like, you're studying. That's so cute! Oh my god! Uh, this is my favorite- yeah, I think this is my favorite house of anybody's that I've seen yet that we've visited on stream. Kudos to Lump of Coley. Not teles- microscope! <laughs> yeah, telescope. You know what I meant, okay? <laughs> I love it. So, so cute. Your house is amazing. Um, alright, let me go. It's kind of funny that, like, your other character is outside of your house. And you were, like, way down near the beach. Oh, check out the sphinx that you have. Why is this bush moving? What? Oh, I guess because I ran into it, but it just looked like it was moving on its own. And you have, like, a little graveyard going on up here. Yeah, he was snooping. Exactly. I know all of the rooms are- they were so perfectly themed. You have a laundromat? Yes, girl! <laughs> I love that you've got a little laundromat over here. We're open. That's great. 24-hour laundry! Um, oh, here we go. We haven't seen, like, uh, none, hardly any of the villagers have been, like, around. Here's Fang. We've met Fang before. You a visitor? Well, make yourself at home. What? <laughs> Gay rights! Woohoo! I was like, wait, what did, what was the catchphrase? Fang. Hype. For gay rights, ladies. Let's go. Fang's got the right idea. All right, where YouTube guy? How's it going? Oh my god, I know to make all the bridges like Zen bridges, or it is so expensive. It's like, well, I guess I'm gonna take forever to do this. So, Poppy said Barbie tings. What? Oh my god, I'm not like I need to pay better attention to these catchphrases. Clearly, 
Okay, so we already circled down here. I guess I need to go to the other side because I keep um, missing people. Was this Poppy's house? This was Poppy's house, I'm pretty sure, because, but I wanted to go look at her tail. So, I wanted to look. Oh yeah, it looks like a little peppermint, because it has like white and red. I love her house too. Yeah, our cinnamon bun tail, that's what it looks like. It's so cute. Excellent, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Um. <clears throat> That's so cute. What am I doing here? I don't know why I'm like going the wrong way. Okay, so this is whose house is this? Puck. Freaking Puck. And this is <gasps> Chief! Oh my god, I haven't seen Chief in the game yet! Whoa! I love Chief! Oh, Chief! Oh my god! Okay, hold on, I have to... No, that's Chip. How do I pull up Chief's bio? <clears throat> so this is Chief's bio. Chief, facts. Number one, pimp. Number two, poop. He's so cute, and he has like the graffiti wall. Is he like a street artist? Like what? Chief has turned into a street artist, what the heck? Like look at this, he just says like paint, he has graffiti wall with paints, and he like sit, look, he has like art and books and jewelry for sale. This is his house? What? <laughs> He's like somebody you'd see on the side of the road in New York City that's selling like weird crap on a blanket, which I saw when I was in Brooklyn. Who knew? Chief's been from Brooklyn all along. Interesting. So, he has a little stand in the back alley. He is. He stole, he's stealing stolen goods. Chief, what happened? <laughs> okay, like, look at, wait. Look at the outside of his house, and then you go in, and he literally has, like, hawked goods on a blanket for sale in a back alley. How did this happen? He has a an engagement ring. Like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, this is my boy, Chief. Like, what did they do to Chief? What? What? What did you do to Chief, game? I can't. I cannot. What? Shiva, how's it going? <laughs> exactly. Chief has been hanging out with Red. Interesting. I really did think Chief was a fox the first time I ever saw him in the game. And then I met Red and I was like, oh, Red is a fox. Chief is just a fox looking wolf. Oh my god, I cannot believe that Chief like went bad. Chief like, I don't know. I mean, his the outside of his house doesn't look sketchy. I cannot. Okay, this is back where we started. I keep going to the same spot, so I'm gonna look at the map. Uh, yeah, I need to like not be going to the left. I don't know why I keep going to the left. I think it's cause like a lot of people are not home or they're either in bed because it's nighttime, like in the dream. So, and there's freaking truffles again. What's this down here? This is cute. There's like a little change area. Truffles, get out of the way. We've got like a surf spot with a changing area and all these beach blankets. So cute. I love the ukulele DIY too. It's one of my faves. Yes. Okay. I don't know why I kept going to the left. Like I could not go to the right for some reason. Um. You went to a random dream, and the island had a mini post office. How cute! Oh, I know Yuka. We've seen Yuka. 
What? <laughs> I hope you don't get the wrong idea when I tell you that you're looking rather dreamy. It's just this is a dream. So the description seems rather apt right now. And uh, oop. Yes, girl. What a cutie. She's in Odie's town too. That's how I know her. But um I cannot believe Chief went down. He like ended up getting involved with the wrong crowd and going down a different path. Why? Oh my look! Oh my gosh! Lump of Coley! This is just like when I played Sims Vacation! And I made my kids go to the carnival and play games on the side of the street until they hated their lives. And until they had horrible memories and they would come home and kick all their prizes because they hated them. And then you've got a gym? Yes! Let's work it, baby! Um... That's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I know we missed a house down there. I'm just like, I'm just admiring the design. So that's the playground. I think we saw, we definitely saw the playground. I don't know if this like circles. Oh, I love the diagonal bridges too. I just want to point that out. Did we come up here? Oh yeah, there's like a lookout. Cute. And there's like a rocket launch. You've got like a space station over there. Cute. Yeah, what a wholesome story. Exactly. But yeah. Okay. Where did I see this house that I didn't go in? I'm just in awe. I know I'm like not even saying anything. I'm like, Hornsby. Now wait a second. Freaking Hornsby again. Hornsby. Everyone says that my room is so cozy. It could put them right to sleep. What do you think, Schnozzle? <laughs> what? Um, Hornsby is, like, the equivalent of Ralph Wiggum. Like, that's what he, that's who he reminds me of. And what is this house, Hornsby? What is with these houses? Having trash in the corner, recycling in the corner, your walls are falling apart. We could not invite Hornsby to live with us. If this is his house, he is not living in our town. I refuse. I refuse. All right. Hornsby, I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> Trash monster. Did you miss a bio? The only bio we ended up showing off was Chiefs cuz we've seen everybody else's either before or we don't or they don't have one. Okay, Yuka, we went in. I like that she has a fruit wreath. I think the other people just like are not Hold on, like, we didn't see Portia or Dottie. We didn't see Puck, but we saw his house. I don't know if they're, like, sleeping in there. I guess we need to run by him and see. We're gonna run by. And see. Yeah, so this is Fang's house, and Fang was just not home. But then down here... This is Dottie's house. Out play- what? What the heck, people? It says you're not there, but then you're out playing somewhere. I didn't see you. I'm trying to find these people and it's not working. Anyway, what in the world is- oh, is that like seaweed? I didn't realize it looked like that when you just like threw it on the ground. Oh, that's pretty hype. Um, Hornsby? No, I didn't show Hornsby's bio because we've seen it like seven times because we keep running into him on freaking Mystery Islands, so. You know.
Yeah, see, we'd be like plop, basically. Oh. I don't, I seriously do not see any of these characters. I feel like they are out playing in another dream because they're just not here. I'm out in a, st you guys are not out. Like you're not out anywhere. I guess I could go to the museum and see if they're like running around in there. Because I think other than that, we've seen everything. It's just a lot of the villagers are MIA. Which maybe that's kind of the nature of dreams? I don't know. Okay, where am I going again? I need to find the museum. I'm going the wrong way. Right? Am I going the wrong way? No. Wait. What am I looking at right now? Okay, I need to go to the right. Again, I keep going to the left for some reason. So. <laughs> the museum has nothing because red never showed. Yeah, but red doesn't have anything to do with, like, the fish or the bugs. What? Just refusing to donate anything until red shows up. Okay, what am I doing? Oh wait, there's somebody. I need to talk to you. Okay, Dottie. What's up, Dots? Big Dottie. Are you like even real, wee one? Um. Yeah, they're out playing hide and seek. All right, well we found Dottie. She doesn't have a bio because we've never met her be before in a previous game. All right, we're going in the museum. We're gonna see if anybody's in here, so. Um. Yeah, I know. I don't know where they are. I bet some are in here, and I bet it just does not always show, like, where everybody is in dreams just because of the nature of them. Look at this. You have a Van Gogh. Yes. Um. What else? Oh, bi a big old head. And wh which painting is, what's it called? Moving painting, that's right. Kitten, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Painting of a Roman goddess. So, so yeah, and pineapple for fun. Hey girl, hey. Welcome to you as well. The quaint painting. It was, I love how it's like donated by Cole. Like I love how it's, all my everything in my museum donated by madam it's like you know shouldn't this just be named after me like at a point the madam museum and the coal museum like that's that's how this should be so <laughs> that's a flowery painting it's a it's not a van gogh it's a flowery painting get it right okay i'm gonna run through the fish and if they're not here then we're gonna we're gonna call it a dream and we're gonna go back but I have quite enjoyed your town, Lump of Coley, especially. Look at how cute. Yes. Uh, especially your house was pretty fantastic. Madam Museum, yeah. That's my museum name. Once my character, Madam, has literally donated every piece in it. So. I do have the Mona Lisa in my museum. Pixie sent it to me one day and was like, oh, I found this extra Mona Lisa. Yeah, that house was amazing. I'm not seeing any other... I'm not seeing any other villagers in here. Dang it, that's that freaking fish I love that I never managed to catch. Um... The Napoleon fish. It's my favorite fish. <sighs> Freaking Napoleon. Let's go. I can't. Most of my, most if not all of your fine art knowledge is from AC. Night at the Museum and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's pretty funny. 
I know quite a bit about art because um, it was more of a focal point for me growing up because I've always been very interested in art and my mom and my family as well. And being homeschooled, my mom taught me so we were able to focus more on subjects like that that were like things I was actually going to care about um, than just trying to touch on every little thing. So it was nice. But... Um, okay, I have quite enjoyed myself, Lump of Coley, so thank you for inviting us to dream of your town, but we're going to head back. What in the world? I'm like, I'm trying to, I don't, I don't know what is on the flag, but it's very intricate, and I appreciate it, so... All right, I want to wake up. Whoa, pretty flag. Yes, girl. Um, was homeschool easy? I mean, it was school. It wasn't like a cakewalk where it was like, oh, everything's just easy because you no, like it was. But the focal point was just me because I was the only student. So you can kind of, um, you know, once you get all your other work done that's like required by the state or required by, you know, what the general curriculum is um you know we could have more of a vocal point on art or we could have more of a um more of an interest in areas where i was like working towards in my life basically so um all right so what am I looking at? I thought I missed a question somewhere, but I guess I didn't. I don't know. I guess I just like misread something. All right. Well, that was super cute. I quite enjoyed that. What What was I, there was something I was gonna do when I got back here. I was like, oh, show that off. I don't know what it was now. I don't know. Um, bum, 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 bum. Like, these songs are just not as memorable, uh, memorable for me. Like, oh, that's what I need to do. I need to try and give out these, give out gifts to people still. These songs are just not as memorable for me, like, in this game. And I always hear the same ones over and over again, because I always play at the same times. And even then, if somebody were like, what's the 10 o'clock song? I'd be like, uh, what is the 10 o'clock song? Like, I just, I wouldn't even, like, remember. So, not to say they're bad or anything. It's not like, oh, I can't listen to that. Like, I don't want to listen to that song. It's just like, I don't know, it's not like... It's not like a songs that I can pinpoint so much. Like my favorite song in the game is 12 p.m. 5 p.m. is cute too, but like I probably vibe more with 12 p.m. Why am I like not digging in the right spot? And I can't believe all those people are still listening to KK. Alright, I'm gonna get this money. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my Wario character really quickly and see if we can just get enough points to pay off his house. And then I'll probably call it a night after that, honestly. Um. Alright. Hi! Alright, so let's go ahead and. S well, wait a minute. Do I have anything else that I need to... I'm just gonna drop that for now. Okay. So I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna return as Wario. So... You know... What in the world? Alright, well... I don't understand this, so... <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> 12 p.m. is my favorite, for sure. 
I don't even think, I don't think I've heard 8 a.m. I don't think I have heard 8 a.m. But maybe? <laughs> 8 a.m. is the reason why I always want to play at 8 a.m. If I've heard it, it's been like once and that's it. So. Okay, I don't know why I waited for that. Oh my gosh, Cole the Camel! Big 27! I'm late, but uh, here's another month! Yes, girl! you so much for the sub and the kind message I give you all the bars and some virtual hugs too thank you so much for your love and support and for 27 months 27 of sub hype thank you so much I love that she spells it out big T W E N T Y. it's like it's 27 Siri Let, let's go like yeah, I'll give you a big, oh my dog, as well. So. Um. Alright, so we're gonna get back on here. I did a, most of the tutorial stuff. This is why I just, I made him and then I stopped streaming. Last time we played as Wario, which was, a, like, my last stream. Um. I did that because I was, like... I know that we're gonna have to go through like explanation of like this is what this means and I didn't want to have to do that on stream so I did a lot of that off stream so now we're just to the point where we're kind of supposed to be experiencing the game and um, you know catching fish and bugs and all that stuff so it's just a matter of like playing which is why I, I was like okay well maybe we'll do a little bit of that on stream but Hi, Boo Boo! Watch out, Boo! Why are you creeping around the corner? Why it- she's like... She's showing me one eye right now. I don't know what is going on. Alright, so I have golden milestones. Yes, baby! Alright, so good idea, Pixie. Thank you for that. Um... So yeah, I have to get to, I have to get to, what is it, 5,000 nook miles, so I'll go ahead and look at what we need to do because, yeah, so learning how to fish is an essential skill, um, so I, I think I need to catch like 10 in a row, 10 in a row, 10 different bugs. What, boo-boo? What's wrong? Oh. Oh, it's 10.30. You guys. Kitty knows what time it is. She very well knows what time it is. Yeah, the first thing I ever caught as Wario was a tire. I didn't even catch a fish. I caught trash. So how stupid was that? Um. Okay, so... I wonder if I could... I don't know. Alright, anyway. <laughs> yeah, she wants her paint. She wants her good stuff. She does! She loves her good stuff. I have to say it wrong or she'll she'll know and she'll beg. Alright, well let's go ahead and just do some fishing then. See if we can catch some fish. What's up, toots? I wanna chat, ladies! Wow. Anyway, I know two lines of inventory. Oof. It is. It's that time. What you think? You don't know what you think? Why don't you know what you think? Oh, you know what? I didn't set my dream address either. That's what I meant to do. I was like, there was something I was going to do when I got home. It was set my dream address. And I didn't do it because I'm an idiot. Whoops. And this freaking mosquito is gonna bite me, probably. Not today, ladies! Alright, big mosquito hype. Just casually putting a mosquito in my pocket. Um, 
What are you doing back there? You want to show off? Hold on, I've list I still have this camera like aimed as if somebody's on the couch, but. Oh, anyway, there's a moth. Luckily, I haven't played at night as Wario, so it's a little bit better that we're playing now because then we could get some different bugs. Okay, we only need 50 miles, so that's good. So we can reach something. But yeah, we'll have different fish and bugs that we'll be catching. So, they're saying hi to you, and you're cleaning. She's like, it's bath time now. I'm sorry. Today's International Cat Day. Well, shout out to Kitty. Oh my gosh, did you know? Wow, you got the shaky leg. I love it. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's a kiss from a kitty. She gives me kitty kisses. <laughs> oh kitty I posted on um, it was a snapchat video but I posted it on Instagram because there was a photo that was taken after the fact that was really funny I washed all my um, I did laundry the other day and I washed my comforter and apparently that was a huge problem for kitty she was like, do not wash my comforter, because it's hers. She's like, that is my comforter. That's where I lay. You're not allowed to wash that. So, um, so yeah, I washed my own comforter, and that was a problem. And so she swatted at me like she was so upset I took this comforter from her. And it was the first time she's ever swatted at me. Like, she never swats at me. You, you got in trouble. Yes, you did, because you were being a funny girl. So, um, and then, so I posted that video, and the next photo is her on my mattress, like, totally happy, like, oh my god, I love this mat. And it's like, you're the one who had a problem. You were like, oh, you can't, how dare you take my comforter? Yeah. <laughs> how dare I wash her comforter, guys? How dare I be clean? Right, kitty? Um, okay. I think I might... I don't know if I get, like, a Nook Miles for listening to KK again. So, but I don't know if I do. So we'll just wrap up with that after we pay off our house. So. <laughs> then she has to rub her set all over it again! It's true. Alright. I don't want to do... I... No. Nook, I just want to pay off my house. I don't care about customizing right now. Okay. What should I do about my moving fees? Okay, I'm ready to pay. All right, so there's 5,000 nook miles. <laughs> Kitty. 5,000 nook miles just gone. Um, it's fine, I guess. It's great. It could be better. Okay. So, I want a house, please. Um, put zero interest financing. Okay, come on. I'm, I'm, I don't want to read all this again. Look. Just let me update my house. That's all I want. About my home. Yes, I am ready for the comfort of a house, both in real life and in this game. Yes, let's do it. I want to build my house. And Wario, I think, should probably have a black roof because it's going to be, um, like a haunted house for our haunted area. So... Yeah, maybe if Kitty rolls upside down on the table, she'll get the paint. <laughs> she is like zonked. This is Kit. This is that Kit. Mm -hmm. Give your big kiss. Because mm -hmm. you're such a good girl. You're the goodest of goods. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so good. 
She loves when I tell her she's good. So, whoops. There we go. Um, okay, so Nook Miles Plus, so now we get all the little plus details that I don't think you should have to click on, but you do. Right, Katie? She can't answer right now, she's purring. Okay, so now we're gonna be getting a house tomorrow, so that is the good news. And this also unlocked something I haven't been able to show off yet. Um, so I wanted to take a second to show it off. But there's a new app on my Nook phone in this game. And it's this little flag and it's call resident. And this is the multiplayer function. So you have to have like two different users on your switch system but then you can have more than one person play with you at once so i was like oh my gosh i i forgot this was even a feature because it's usually just me so i totally would have shown this off with Odie had i remembered um but i didn't i didn't remember that was a feature and i didn't i just made wario last saturday and it was at the very end of the stream so i didn't I didn't stream on Tuesday because I was spending time with Odie, so I never showed off this feature. It was like, if I'd done it sooner, he could have played with me and we could have shown that off, but oh well, I just didn't even realize. Um, because uh, neither one of us had two residents in our town, so right, next time, next time he'll get to show it off, so, but yeah. Odie is not gone forever, do not say that, that's terrible. He's not. Um, but yeah. So, anyway. What are you doing back there? She is like stretching and pulsing. This is what she's doing right now. Pulsing. So, anyway. No, I'm saying like, we were together for a, a month and then he had to go home. So, um, it just didn't work out in Animal Crossing where we could actually play it together because I didn't remember that was even a thing. Lionel, are you joining the concert? Yes. All right. Well then, Wario's naked under this wetsuit because I was like, he needs to sell all of his clothing. But all right. So he's going to play a random song for us. Oh, you know what? I'm sitting between these two. But yeah, I know it would have been so cute, but oh well. Next time we'll do that for sure, and then we won't have to worry about any kind of tutorial crap for uh, my secondary character, but... Oh, KK. Yeah, so he's gonna play New Horizons for us, because that's the first song he plays. <laughs> yeah, Stitches wears his sunglasses at night! I am too cool. Um... Like I said, it, it's sad to be streaming without him in the background this time. Oh, Kit. Why are you so ridiculous? Whatcha do? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Whoa, Boo 1220, how's it going? Yeah, Kit is the substitute. You wanna play with me? Do you want to? You love this song? Ew, you're such a good girl. I love that girl. She's so sweet. Um, I know, Kitty really wants her food. I love that all these villagers are here right now. We've had like two crowds around KK tonight instead of the usual no one but me. So. Anyway, this is a super cute KK song. Um, what I am going to do, you guys, is I am going to wrap this up after this. Sorry, I'm going to center back on myself again. But, um, I am going to wrap this up, um, right after this KK song for the night. Because I think we've reached a good stopping point. We're almost to, uh, the three hour mark, which is usually, um, what I've been sticking to as of late. Is Murphy wearing that, like fairy tale outfit? I think he is. And I love that Lionel's wearing his dragon suit. So, um, it's been a really, really nice stream tonight, you guys. It's been really relaxing and very chill, and 
I know I'm probably in a little bit more of like a somber mood than usual, but it's just because, you know, like I said, it's um, my first stream alone since Odie's gone home, and so it just, um, it's a little, a little sad for me, but, but it is great to have all of you here. I'm appreciative for all of you and so grateful to have you here spending your Saturday night with me. Um, so thank you for being part of this and I'm going to get the... I'm gonna get the credits going if I can actually learn how to do this. It's like every night. Oh, you know what? I'm like clicking on the wrong thing. No wonder. All right. And I think, yes, we do get a song for KK Mania. So that's good. And we get a lot for that. Or not, a, we get a song. We do, but we get points for that. But not your average points. All right, so let me pull up the credits here. There we go. Perf. KK is going to sing in the background as we roll the credits live. Um, and I want to thank you all for your kindness and support tonight. As always, from, from Aunt Flo for the donations to my mods, Bree, Little Foo, Odie, and Pixie who are still here. The new followers, Salty Marks and Rural. And to my subs and resubs, Yo Yo Yoshi95 and Cole the Camel. So thank you so much for being here. Ghastly Blue, thank you for being here. Um, I don't, I've been lurking. I was going to say, I didn't see your name earlier, so hopefully you're not walking in right at the end, but I'm glad that you got to be here. Oh, sweet, while well, you prepped bread dough. Ooh, that sounds tasty. Um, all right, so tomorrow, you guys, I will be having a little bonus stream. We'll be seeing more of this game tomorrow night. Um, so tomorrow night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, I'll be playing uh, more Animal Crossing New Horizons because there's the fireworks show every Sunday night in the month of August. So we're going to show that off. We're also going to go villager hunting because uh, Marina will have moved out by tomorrow. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and look for villagers tomorrow night too. So it's going to be a short stream. It'll probably only be like an hour or so. Uh, but it's just something fun to do. And... Um, you know, a little bonus stream, because I did want to show off, um, at least once I wanted to show off the fireworks show for August, and since we have a little bit more to do that we can do tomorrow night, besides like a 20 minute like, wow, this these are the fireworks, that's it, um, it'll be nice to have like villager hunting to do too. So, um, let's see, oh Teagsta's playing Fall Guys! We can raid my girl Teagsta, um, because she's playing the game that you guys just donated for, so as soon as I get my controller, I'm gonna get the game, and we're gonna be, I'll be able to play Fall Guys with you too. And let me know if you guys have any feedback, either on Twitter or on my Discord. Um, you can find me either place. If you have any feedback of things you're interested in seeing alongside Animal Crossing, um, Oh, Scott, man, I didn't see you either. Um, hopefully you're not just getting here for the end, but thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great night as well. Let's see, what do we want to, what, what's our hashtag? I don't even know. So while somebody is coming up with a hashtag, um, I just want to say thank you again to everybody who donated yesterday so that I can get Fall Guys in the controller and start playing with you guys again. I had Odie's. That's why you guys are probably like, what the heck? You played it like last week. It was Odie's controller, which he had to take with him. And uh, the game was just a beta, so now I can actually purchase the full game for myself. Uh, I was hoping to get a code, but it didn't happen. Whoops. So, um, I was hoping to get a review code, but you know, that doesn't always work out. So, um, so anyway, but the new donation goal is for Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. So if you're interested in seeing that and you have a dollar or two to donate. I'm appreciative of that always, uh, but that's the new goal, just putting that out there. Sims 2 is working, it's windowed. I still think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is making a video instead, um, just because it's, I'm gonna have to probably speed it up or it's gonna take literally forever. So we got Sims 2 working we got it windowed so I can capture it correctly, because before I couldn't even capture it. So that's the good news. But that probably will turn into a YouTube video, which I'm kind of like, well, you know, I wanted it to be like a reflection on the old project. I don't remember a ton about the old project because it was so massive and it was like, 
you know, Sims is very, like, fleeting. Like, one, t one and done, whatever. Um, so, I am just going to recreate the house. And I think I might take some, like, question submission or something. Um, and then talk about that during that episode. But I've got to film it first because I'll do the audio after. So, it's probably just going to be a YouTube video. It's going to be easier and that way nothing will screw up and I can have it just ready to go. So I'm like, well, oh well, this the stream idea is not going to work out, but you're still going to get that. So um, I'm probably going to record that this month. That's my goal now that that's working. So I am planning to record that this month. I was supposed to have the Nintendo Labo stream last month with Odie and just so many things happened. We were not able to do that. So that's also supposed to be this month. So then the only thing that we'll need to get organized which will probably be, you know, I'm not sure when it'll be, is the Fortnite experience. So we'll figure that out uh, later. That's going to be the finale anyway. So it's like, okay, I'm not really worried about that because that's literally the last thing. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for being here. I don't think we actually came up with a hashtag. Whoops. So we'll just do, what happened tonight? What can we do? Um, here, we'll do... Let's see. I'm doing coal house wins because lump of Coley's house wins. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let's raid Teagsta. She usually does have um, follower only chat on. So just a warning because she does play games that um, get some spam. So anyway, just a warning. But yeah, Cole's ha Cole House wins. All right, love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow night. And shout out again to my patrons on Patreon. I love you guys so much too. And I hope you enjoy the new credits page for the month of August. So love to you all. Bye.